So, you know, the book club's ready to go. I read it. You read it. We know about it. We'll do a book club show on it soon. I read the first four chapters of the next book. I read zero chapters. So, uh... It you're... starts off in magic school, doesn't it? Uh, well, yeah, no, it starts... no, it probably starts in uh, in the bar. Current time. In the bar, yes. So, I might not have the highest opinion of the books as a whole now that I've read a good chunk of the next book. Uh... So, you're a smart man. Guess for me, if you will, what happens in the first, I don't know, quarter of that book. The next book in the trilogy. It's probably, let's see, he went to... He fought the dragon... Yeah, right. that's all in he the first book, town. though. He, all right, so then he, he's in the bar, and they're talking about the spiders, and the chronicler starts chronicling again at yeah, some point. Yeah, same old, same all right. old. Uh, he goes back to magic school. Yep. The, what are the guys who run the magic school called? The elders? The, whatever. the, the masters? The masters. The, the masters are pissed because he, was, he left school and misbehaved, and he's in big trouble, and he has to, he can't afford to pay his tuition, which uh, went so up. His tuition is now like 10 talents, and he can't afford that. But he so can, he goes back to Devi because he can't make any money because he got in trouble for something else. And then Ambrose is dating that girl that he likes suddenly. Oh, I didn't see that coming, but that's okay. No, nah, it, it's the same goddamn thing just happening again. He's out of money. He goes to play in the inn. No one will patronize him. It's like it's retelling the exact same story. And you just keep cycling through these same three conflicts in sort of a spiral. It goes like this. But the thing is, the numbers moves, just go. So up. it's like cycle, move forward, cycle, move forward, cycle, move forward. So when he first became forward. an LF or whatever, he became like the first level of Arcanist. Like, you, he's the youngest Arcanist ever. Oh, my God. Oh, but he's not a Rilar. That's the next level up. And then when he became a Rilar, it was like such a big deal. They keep adding proper nouns beyond that. They're, oh yeah, no, those words basically mean highest, sophomore, junior, yeah, senior. Yeah, I mean, think about it. even if he gets the gilder and becomes as good as Aventhi, right? He graduates basically and yep. succeeds, which we know he's not going to do. Nope. Right? Then you, you just got to become a master. And then once you become a master, I guess you could become the grandmaster. The only reason, I, but the thing is, they make a big deal about like you're you're a Rilar. and then he brings up more proper nouns to like it's it's like if you level up in Final Fantasy, but then all the monsters level up with you, so nothing actually changes. He's making more money. He'll make like fourteen talents, but then tuition's ten talents, and then some bullshit happens. So the scale of everything keeps going up, but the story doesn't change. I wish they they really the book could have done better by solving you know if he would have just when you beat a conflict don't bring the burning same... wheel let it ride exactly just let that conflict ride you got the money you paid your tuition good tuition's not going to be a problem again now it's these other things right the exploding uh you know arcanis shop right all those kinds of things right just keep bouncing around between all these new and different conflicts and stop always bringing it back to the same conflict as like this sort of foundation like it seems like someone's writing the book and they don't know what, they can't think of an idea for what to happen next, but they have to write something today. So I'll just, you know, oh, he's in trouble with money again. Oh, he's in trouble with the Benthi You know what it reminds me and of? now I thought of something. It reminds me of a burning wheel campaign where you have the one big test in a session, and then every few sessions, resource test. <laughs> just more like every two chapters <laughs> though, right? I mean, come on. So... The only reason I'm continuing Maybe to Maybe we read. should make an edit where we remove all those chapters yeah. with those conflicts and only have the chapters that have the other stuff, like the dragon. So the only reason I'm still reading it, like the second book right now, is that one, I didn't start the next book club book yet. And two, every time I'm just about at the point, you know what, I don't give a fuck, I'm just going to stop reading. Then I get to see like Elodin teaching a class. He's the best. He's the best master. He's also crazy, and he's more crazy now. The problem is he's a little crazy in this almost stereotypical way, like running around chasing dandelions. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, I'm not to turn this into the actual book club episode, but I'm kind of annoyed that the school is such a like high school pet. Like, college isn't like that anywhere in the world. I think it's sort of like a One Piece situation, right? It's like, oh, it's a really long and boring fight. Uh, oh, and then it got interesting again as soon as the fight was over. And a long and boring fight. It's like, just remove all the long and boring fight chapters. Yep. And it'd be the best. There's also proper noun creep, but uh, I'll save that for the book club show. <laughs>